Seeing all the trailers and gameplay footage from The Division 2 hypes me up to play it. Not too long and we will be able to play it. So let's take a look at how we can prepare for The Division 2 with the new addition in The Division 1. Let's take a look at shields. For anyone that doesn't know, update 1.8.2 brings with it the shields program. The shields program consists of a dozen challenges to unlock new content in the Division 2. Four of the 12 shields can be unlocked in June this month, while the new ones will become available every month after that, until the release of the Division 2 on March 15, 2019. Completing a shield challenge grants you rewards for both the Division 1 and 2. For the Division 1, each shield challenge grants you a shield encrypted cache, which contains an associated patch, an audio log, one exotic item, two classified gear set pieces, 2000 Phoenix credits, 500 Division tech, and three cipher keys. It's quite a lot. For the Division 2, however, it's more interesting of course, the shields come in one of four tiers, each with a unique unlock for the Division 2. Shields in tier 1 reward you with a unique weapon skin. In tier 2 they will reward you with an outfit or vanity patch. In tier 3 with an emote and backpack die. And in tier 4 with a trophy, which is an object that hangs off your backpack. If you manage to master all of them, that will also unlock a special outfit. With the rewards out of the way, let's take a look at the shield challenges you will have to complete. The first shield in June, called Dead Eye, requires you to complete Closing all the weekly point. HVTs in any given week. The second one, called Avenger, requires you to kill 10 named enemies in the Light Zone, Dark Zone or the West Side Pier, so this is very, very simple. The third one, Shepard, requires you to unlock the base of operations. This one is retroactive, meaning that this will complete once you log into the game, assuming that you actually unlocked it of course. And the fourth, Hazard requires you to clear 25 landmarks in the dark zone. The 8 remaining shield challenges for July to February aren't known yet, so we'll have to wait each month for them to unlock. And that already brings us to the end of this video. It was a short but informative one. I like that they added these, makes it feel a little bit less bad to lose all our characters progression. But what do you think about the shields program? Are you gonna unlock the rewards or not? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.